I say it to their face too. Okay. Now look who's it. Right in the corner. There we are by the ledge. Oh, I like it more in the corner what? because it, I don't, I don't, I don't have a fancy. Head. The wind, the wind. We want to hear your voice. We want to hear everything. Okay. Okay. Now, and you are. I am Chris Austin, Leader People's Lines. And uh, you have, you found out what the budget is. Nothing private there. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't have anything about the budget. You're going to tell me. Is it bad? Seniors are taking a hit. Seniors. Seniors. They're the one that vote. Yes, I know. But you've got Blue Cross. Premiums will be increased, reinstating ambulance fees, they're removing the cap for seniors. What they're are, doing about ambulance fees? They're removing the uh, the waivers, so in other words, they're putting the fees back on. You mean if you're on social assistance and you call, you have to pay? Well, go in they, the corner again. Go in the corner. Yeah, they 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 may. They win. They win. They win. They may have some, uh, you know what I mean? Like if if you're in a lower income, they may. Okay. Remove it. But for everybody else, they're back on. Okay, they're back on. <laughs> Avalanche fee and seniors getting a hit for what? Uh, removing the cap for seniors in special care homes. Used to be capped at, uh, I think, $113. They're removing that. So they could be paying $230, $250 okay. um, to, to look after, uh, to, to be looked after in their senior years. Um, Again, Blue Cross premiums increases. They're closing Service New Brunswick. They're closing Service New Brunswick. They're closing Service New Brunswick. Yep. How they're going to shut? You mean they're going to shut down Service New Brunswick? Well, they're shutting down in, in these rural areas. Oh, rural areas. Yeah. yeah as okay. well as courthouses. St. Stephen Courthouse is going to be gone. Which one? Uh, there's, uh, there's several several courthouses in there that are in the more, budget. More, yeah. They're getting rid of 249 teachers. They're getting rid of 200. Over 200 teachers? 249. 249 teachers? They're raising the gas tax by two cents a liter. And they're putting in the budget a $150 million contingency fund. What's that? Well, that's a good question. That was my question. What What is the purpose of putting an extra $150 million in a budget? You know, is that so that you can draw out from it if you have a special program or you need to reward your friends and neighbors like ATCON that you can just dip out of that? Who knows, right? But anyway, that's what they've got in their budgets. So, 200, over 200 teachers? <coughs> 249. Plus, and plus the potential for closure of schools. You're an Englishman. I'm French. Mm -hmm. Don't Serge Roussel come across, his English come across very, very arrogant? Who's that? Uh, Serge Roussel, the Minister of Education. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to... No, no, but I mean you as an Englishman when you listen to him. Yeah. I know me when I, I listen I, to I, him. I, you know, Charles, I'm much more concerned with the way he thinks than the way he speaks. You know, when, when you talk in this bus issue, everybody's all caught up in this bus issue. I mean, it is... Nah, I gotta be careful what I say here. How, Why? How, how, how can you have segregation in, in 2015 in Canada? Because that's, that's what we have. When you, when you can't allow for French and English kids to ride on the same bus, it's segregation. If it was any other minority group, they'd be burning tires in the street. And I'd be standing shoulder to shoulder with them doing it, mm -hmm. you know? So, so and, and the bus issue, that is one small aspect of the, of the outdated and ridiculous language policies that we have in New Brunswick. I firmly believe, and I've said this for years, that we can have service for both linguistic groups in a fair and effective manner. How do we do it? You look at the statistics, you look at your demographics, you look at the region of the province, and you make sure the need is met accordingly. It's that simple. So bottom line, this budget, no good? Bad. Bad because it doesn't do the job, for starters. It, 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 it really, you know, they're nickel and diming, uh, especially seniors, but there's no innovation. There's nothing creative in this. It's the same old slash and cut. There's, there's just nothing there. But he's supposed to be a new government. Oh, to... yeah, they, they were going to do great wonders, eh? Campaign time.